name is Beth Marcus, um, and I live in the village of Centerville. Um, I basically would just like to read a letter that I had sent in regards to the um, NSTAR resolution that I believe is going to be talked about tonight. Dear Councilors, it's come to our attention that the Town Council will vote again on Thursday on a non-binding resolution requesting NSTAR abandon its herbicide plan. We encourage you to once again vote in favor of this non-binding resolution because protect, protecting our water supply is never the wrong decision. As residents of this town raising two children on a public water supply, we have serious concerns over the fragility of the single source aquifer from where our water comes. As business owners who manufacture a product that contains 95% water, which comes directly from our public drinking supply, we want to see our town and its citizens do everything to protect that water supply. Hi, I'm Sue Phelan from West Barnstable, um, Mr. President and Councilors. Uh, I understand that the, the Council is revisiting the earlier uh, NSTAR resolution that it passed in 2010 um, uh, with a view to extending it indefinitely. I believe this does reflect the desires of the citizens of Barnstable and the Cape. Uh, with this resolution, we're merely asking NSTAR once again to abandon the use of herbicides to clear vegetation on Cape Cod transmission rights of way. Resolution, or this non-binding resolution, um, as printed, was adopted by five other Cape communities in 2012 as part of its five-year vegetation management plan. Electric Utility NSTAR plans to use five herbicides under its 150 miles of power line across Cape Cod. These herbicides mixed with additional carrier agents such as petroleum desolates are being applied to control tall growing trees and brush in addition to the traditional mechanical methods. For decades, NSTAR has exclusively used only non-chemical methods for controlling vegetation along the power lines by, cutting, by mechanical cutting and mowing. Depending on the application rates and methods, Nearby residents and properties could be exposed to drift from these chemicals. Additionally, pesticides tracked into homes by people and pets can be a continuous source of exposure in the home. The chemicals and their breakdowns can persist in the soil and enter, surf enter surface and groundwater from which we obtain our drinking water. The federal government mandates NSTAR to keep the power line easement clear of vegetation. NSTAR not is not mandated to use chemical herbicides. NSTAR could continue the proven method of clear cutting and mowing the vegetation. This non-binding resolution extends the previous resolution uh, by extending it past December 31, 2011, that NSTAR continue to abandon the herbicide application method in favor of the clear cutting program. 